and I've got quite a lot of stamina when it comes to dancing. I don't think that, generally speaking, people would know about that. They know now because of the Adele thing. I think that the reason that was um, popular was because it was <laughs> slightly unexpected. I feel like people felt like their sort of favourite old dog had just got up on its hind legs and started to dance about, you know. Hello, everyone. Um, it's Emma Thompson here, and I'm here with LUK um, to play Ask Me Anything. Be afraid. Nanny McPhee, view Margarita down her and get her backstory. She'd be really interesting, yeah, yeah. But I do remember being with Mike Nichols and meeting Harrison Ford for the first time. We were all at Paramount Pictures and I came on set and I think Harrison probably just quite recently done raises and stuff like that, so he was just more famous than God. And I, I just remember the conversation because Mike speaks is sort of quite slowly, but. Harrison speaks very slowly in a very low voice, and I I was in quite a nervous. So I speak like that, so I'm just so terribly excited to meet him. And then, then he would say something very slowly back. I remember hearing it in my head, thinking, "Oh God, just shut up, Thompson, shut up, shut up." I don't think I have a, a, a name for it, but I love dancing. And once a year, I have a party that's just for dancing and get a band and we all dance and we just dance for hours. I have been known to dance till my feet bleed. Seriously, I just really, really love it. And I wish I did it more. And I've got quite a lot of stamina when it comes to dancing. I don't think that generally speaking, people would know about that. I mean, they know now because of the Adele thing. I think that the reason that was um, popular was because it was <laughs> slightly unexpected. <laughs> I feel like people about like their sort of favorite old dog had just got up on its hind legs and started to dance about, you know. <laughs> it was just an unexpected thing, but it was about pleasure, isn't it? Dancing's such a glorious thing to do. It's so good for you. Red carpets are not, not my natural home. So I generally speaking feel like a Christmas pony, you know, doing dressage up the red carpet. I can't bear heels. Um, I love clothes. I really do love clothes. I think they're very interesting and very helpful and, and lovely things to get involved with. I have a friend who's a designer called Maria Grashvogel. She makes beautiful sort of Grecian kind of twirling. Her cuts are beautiful. So I think anything that I've worn by her on the red carpet has made me feel very feminine and very happy and, and very comfy. The script, because written by Katie Brand, it challenges so many assumptions and it also asks so many questions and invites so much. It's about pleasure, female pleasure, which is not at the top of anybody's agenda ever, anywhere. My character is 63, she's a retired religious education teacher, she was. Uh, she's widowed, she's been widowed for two years. She's never experienced orgasm. 15% of women have never experienced orgasm. Um, this is in this country, in, in majority world countries, it will be a much higher figure, much, much higher. It, it is extraordinary how difficult we find it to talk about this um, because it's not important to us and because we're embarrassed by it because we don't respect sex really sexual pleasure um, it's been made taboo the bodies of women are not seen they're not seen most actresses who take their clothes on film have very very tiny bodies that are not you know, certainly not bodies you think oh well you've given birth or you've gone through the menopause or you've done anything that women do so that was another reason why I wanted to do the movie, was to show and normalize a female body. Very hard to do because I'm not someone who can stand in front of a mirror and be like that. So Nancy actually is much further ahead in her development than I am because she's come from so far away and then suddenly has realized that there's no point in hating your body. You can only love it because it's your only home. I loved Succession, I loved Chernobyl, I loved Queen's Gambit, written by a great mate. Probably one of my all-time forever, forever favourites is Mel Brooks's The Young Frankenstein. It's sort of a film I maybe couldn't live without. It would probably be Sense and Sensibility. You know, it was very, very, very romantic. And lots of people I love and still love were involved in the making of that film. It was super special and super happy. Thank you so much. And thank you for your, for your questions. Um, I loved it. Um, take care, lots of love.